I feel like we should be drinking like pumpkin spice lattes I know. or something. Wait, where's our pumpkin spice lattes? Sammy? Like, Sammy. We are rolling. Hi guys, so I am here with the one and only Ash uh, My sister. <laughs> um, and actually today, I'm kind of being selfish. I use the excuse of wanting to shoot a video so I could get my glam done for tonight. I love it. She's right? a smart girl. I mean, I like the way you work. two for one, you so, know? So we didn't really have an idea for the video we were gonna shoot today, but because the look I'm wanting is a brown, smoky eye. For fall. For you fall. Know, we're going into fall, why not use some warm tones? Exactly, so this is our yeah. autumn smoky eye. Clearly we already have skin on. Yes, we started off with and a I beautiful- I woke up like this, no. do we look? Yeah. <laughs> you this did is... though, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Two hours ago we started with skin and this is what Two we got. Hours. But yeah. that's gonna have to be another YouTube video. But yeah. for today, let's start off with our eye look. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna start off using something that's a little more creamy for the eyelid, so. We'll start off with this Huda Beauty palette in the shade Dubai. And mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go in and use my finger to apply this color, because it's a cream and mm -hmm. it just kind of sticks a lot better to the eye sometimes when you use your fingers. I love using creams on the eyelid because I feel like I can go in and use mattes on top and everything just blends, blends so Got smooth it. and buttery. It just depends on the vibe that I'm going for. Right. Open. Yeah, that looks really that good. Was busted. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I like the finger. It's like a finger painting. It is. You know We're I mean? totally finger painting. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's easy. And it, it, you know what? I don't know what it is. I think it's a makeup artist thing. I just love using my fingers. And the heat of your yeah, hand. Yeah, it warms up the product. Hey, so nicely. <laughs> In my short lived time doing beauty stuff, I've learned a lot you about have. the blending. I feel like you know so much. Warmth in your skin, yeah. mixing with the makeup. She definitely appreciates makeup. And I that's why I, I love working with you. Look at me. Perfect. And that's it. Thank you guys All right, for tuning in. We will watching. see you next week. Yeah. So I'm just gonna use a smaller brush just to get in the inner corner of the eye using the same exact cream shade in Dubai from the Huda Beauty palette. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the outer corner because I wanna get really close to the eyelid. You wanna make sure that there's no gaps. Turn this way for me. Perfect. So we're gonna be focusing on more of these beautiful warm This matte looks like tones. fall. It's so fall. Like this is like, the Pantone I literally just shade threw up fall. fall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a warm brown. I'll have you look. Yeah, that's perfect. Warm brown in the crease using a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth with that color. And then I'm gonna go in with one of these darker buxom shades to give Shay more definition in the crease. We always really like to define her eyes. And I wanna show you guys exactly how to bring out your crease. Having the half Asian gene, I really like to pop it out a little bit every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> you got pop to. Pop that crease. Pop it and twerk it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? And another little trick that I like to do is take your light warm brown shade and kind of bring it into this corner, inner corner right here to contour mm -hmm. the inner corner of the eye, kind of bringing it into the nose contour. I feel like it looks so sexy and sultry. And it's I just always a good have look. like, all right, I'll do that or you guys do that. Yeah. We need to bring like in a little bit more. Of. So I've realized over the years that smoky eyes is not one shade. Like you have to use a lot of different colors to you kind do. of get that look. Oh my God. It's, it's all about starting off with something light like mm -hmm. we're doing in the crease and then building it up to like darker shades. And that's how you get that really beautiful gradient. Mm -hmm. Not like the smoky eye I had in high school when I just put black on my Oh my eye. God, that's totally it. <laughs> it's so not good. I do like to kind of um, take the eyeshadow and blow it up and outward to just lift up Shay's eye. Are you saying that I'm old and it's dripping already? Oh my God, guys, bust it. Don't play. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon I'm gonna be asking you to do the tape stuff in the back. Oh my God, just we're like, just gonna tape everything. Tape it up. Now yes. I think it's time to go in and kind of like pump it up a little bit. So I wanna give it some definition. So we're gonna be using this Buxom palette. The customizable one. Oh yeah, is this the customizable yes. one? It's so cool, I love it. I actually cool. designed it. this one. Did you really? Yeah, because yeah, you, you did such a good job. pop these little guys off and when you're I on the go, that. They just snap right off. I'm gonna go in using this really nice warm brown shade right here in the crease. And whenever you do this, it's really nice to go in with something that's a little sharper, kind of like a pencil. So that's what I like to think of when I'm using this brush. Right where her eye folds. And you guys can see I'm going really slow. And I'm using a very light and soft touch to make sure that I have a really steady hand and I can get this line really nice and straight. 
and we just wanna make sure that everything is even. And I'm also gonna take the same exact color with the same brush and just bring it to the outer corner, kind of creating this like little V right here. And instead of doing top eyeliner, we can use this as more of like a smudgier mm -hmm. top eyeliner kind of style. And I like this too when it's not so perfect. I think that's the other thing I love about yeah. like this kind of smoky eye where we're using this as a liner because it almost looks like that, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, drink too much and you come home from the club. I almost like my makeup more yes, after an event. It's like it's really sunken in. It's you know, sunken it's, it's in, sexier. a little bit of sweat, a little bit of dew. Yeah. It just like it helps everything. I feel you go. Right? And I'm just going back and forth. This brush actually had nothing on it. So I like to start off with a clean brush. Like my touch is really light. Mm -hmm. I think it's all about the touch too. The more pressure you put, the darker this mm -hmm. is gonna look, the heavier the eye you're gonna have in places that you may not want it so heavy. So be really mindful of that when you're creating this look. That's what I have to take away from this. A softer touch yes, when doing my on, own Shay. makeup. Yes, she's learning guys, I like it. So same thing on this side, I'll have Shay kind of keep her mm -hmm. eyes a little bit open for me. And yes, I like to hold my hand still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like to do this so I don't rest my hand on her face just because we already have the foundation on. <laughs> I'm like, just all right, rest. guys, yeah. No, because usually they have the little powder puff. These come in handy, but I'm right. trying to keep her skin as dewy as possible. Do you want me to hold your arm like with that help or am I shaking it <laughs> like this? There's so many, can you like move it too? I want to have a real honest moment with everybody for a second. Whenever you do profile shots and these, I don't know if other beauty bloggers, look, I consider myself a beauty blogger. I don't know if other <laughs> beauty bloggers in our neighborhood um, do the same thing, but like honestly, when I have to like face you here, my tongue is to the roof of my mouth at all times. Cause can I just show you the difference like this? And then... <laughs> I also have a little friend that just decided to pop up today. Why? So that's great. I don't know, but look at the difference. Oh my God, that's so true. You're such that's a That's the real tip of this video, yeah. okay? How to have no, like no double chin. This is the yeah, title. It wasn't about the smoke. It wasn't about the smoke. It wasn't to show you guys how you okay. don't get a double chin <laughs> when you're profile. Same thing. I'm just taking my little pencil brush in the outer corner and now I'm going to bring it down to the lash line just to softly smoke it out instead of using an eyeliner. I like to tight line the eyes. I just feel like everything- Is that what it's called, tight line? I feel like that's the correct term. Like when like you lift the eyelid up and you Yeah, exactly. It's when you get really tight. I'm gonna say that next time. I yeah. really love my makeup, but I'd love it if we could just tight line a little yeah. bit. Do you know what I mean? Like just add a tight line. From the Buxom palette, I'm gonna be using this second shade right here. It's a nice matte tone that we can use to kind of modify and set the brow. Do you like doing this more with powders or with like those creamy pencils? You know what? Um, I like both. I think mm -hmm. it depends on like my mood, my vibe, mm -hmm. like what we're doing, but I do use a lot of powders. Mm -hmm. Just because I feel like my clients have their makeup on for hours and hours and you want um, it to stick. Yeah, and even if I do go in with like something creamy, I might even just set it with a powder too. Now I want to finish off this look by <laughs> sorry, I can't <laughs> She makes me laugh all day. This is how it goes. I just kind of want to wrap around this brown and bring it underneath the eye. So I'm gonna use an eye coal from MAC. This is Teddy. It just blends really nicely so I'm gonna take it and start off by putting it right underneath your eyes so I'll have you look up for me mm -hmm. have you look up all the way where this, this is the part where I don't make her laugh <laughs> yeah she's not gonna make me laugh okay. so I'm just gonna start off by getting right underneath her lash line and then I'm gonna blend this out and I love using eye coals because they're super smudgy they stick really well and I don't have to rub so hard mm -hmm. to get the the product to kind of come out. This is more of like a small shader. Something really small that I can get right underneath the lashes with. And once you've done this, you can take eyeshadow, you can go on top of it to intensify it, or you can just leave it like this. But it makes a really great base if you wanna put eyeshadow on top because it is uh, more creamy. So I'm just going back and forth, just making sure we can soften up these edges really nicely. And since it's a warm brown, it really complements the shade that we have on the lid and the crease. This is Brownie by Marc Jacobs. It is their gel highliners. So it's just another warm brown that I'm gonna use. I like to tight line the top of her eye. Now we're gonna tight block. line yeah. on the top. Also her favorite Stay part. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay.
I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, but when I'm doing my eyelashes, like curling or anything, or mascara, I like, does everybody else do that? I feel like I do the same thing. I can't not. <laughs> yeah. If somebody does a whole meme of this video with my weird faces, <laughs> I will find you. I will find you, and I will hunt you. I do want to top off your lip with a little more gloss. So this is Hot Toddy. It's by Buxom. This is and my favorite lip polish. This is the one that makes so it feel pretty. like pretty. Yeah. And, like, and I feel like it's a, it definitely a staple for Buxom. It's like one of the lip colors that just really looks good on everybody. Really so does. you guys will love it. I'm just going to tap a little bit in the center just to give us a little more glow and to hydrate the lips really nicely. Perfect. I love this color. It looks really nice on you, and I feel like it, it really complements the eye too. It doesn't like overpower yeah. it. It really lets the eye just stand out. So. Our autumn eye. So there what you have it. Think? Let us know what other look you would like to see done, or if you want to see that emerald green under yes, eye smoke. That, that was did. amazing. Would love to show you guys. Let yeah. us know. Comment down below. Like and subscribe. Yes.